What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another dope edition of Define Your Legacy. I'm your host, this Elijah McBee. And before we tap into today's episode, all right, just want to shout out the online store of Define Your Legacy, which can be found at the link in the description of this episode. All right, we got T-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves, and a whole lot more. All right, so feel free to check out the online store of Define Your Legacy, which can be found at the link in the description of this episode. All right, but to jump right in, to introduce today's guest, we got Vince on the show. What's going on, man? What's going on, bro? How's everything? I can't complain. I can't complain, man. Um, we appreciate we you, go. you know, for pulling up on the show. But if you could um, just introduce yourself and tell the world who it is that you are and the value that you provide. Yeah, absolutely, man. What's going on, world? My name is Vince Shanks. Connecticut's one of Connecticut's finest barbers, man. You know, I'm real humble by that. Um, yeah, that's what we do. For sure, for sure. So, um, obviously, you know, being a barber and stuff, if you could tell us, how'd you get started um, in doing that? What was the process like for you when you first um, began your journey with that? Um, so, as a barber, you know, I kind of knew from a young age that this is what I wanted to do. That goes dating back to about seven, eight years old. Um, you know, my uncle was a, a, my uncle wasn't a barber, actually. But he would cut my hair like on a porch and, you know, so just seeing that it was something I could really touch, uh, turning his clippers on, hearing how it sounded. It was something that I gravitated towards early on. And it was like, yeah, I want to do this. And obviously going to the barbershop and understanding the staple of what it meant to young black folks, um, you know, us young black men, especially uh, just being in those environments and things like that. I was really gravitated towards that as well. You know, something that I, it was like my sport. So that's where, you know, it, 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 the process begins back then. Um, never really saw myself doing a nine to five. I mean, you know, it's not nothing to knock to those that make that their hustle. But you know, for me personally, what I wanted to um, mold my life out there, you know, for my family was definitely entrepreneurship. And yeah, so that's, that's the lane we went to. Um, the process of getting it, I guess, is what you asked, was... Uh, you know, to be a licensed barber, had to, you know, obviously go to school, get my hours in, you know, book work, practical work, take the state tests and things like that. And then it's been, you know, it's been selling from there. Yeah. And you mentioned too, um, off rip, just the idea of like, I feel like outside of home, right, the barbershop is probably one of the top places that, you know, young black men right. truly feel like could be a place of like, you know, calm, peace. So what does that mean to you to know that you have something where um, we as a culture can really truly, truly be ourselves, but at the same time, Absolutely. get a cut? Absolutely. You know, just from, for me, it was, you know, being around the older gentlemen and getting game. And, you know, um, me personally, I grew up going to a barbershop called South End Barbershop, um, South End of Bridgeport. Um, and, them early days, it was, you know, just like me and my dad going to the shop and, uh, you know, just getting game and, you know, things like that. But then when I started going over to my cousin's shop, good looking, it was like a whole nother, you know, I wouldn't call it a culture shock, but it was it was just definitely a different environment. Um, and, you know, the gentleman in there was always giving a game, you know, and, and, and I was, it's just something that I just always wanted to be around. You know, so I would go in there, especially as I'm getting a little older, being able to maneuver through the world on my own, uh, just sit in, just listen to these guys talk, the music, you know, the, 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 the fashion, um, all those key components that we're so used to. And, you know, it was like, this is it. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. And, and you, uh, you opened your shop up pretty recently, right? What was the, yeah. what was the inspiration behind that? Um, the inspiration behind opening my own barbershop, um, Definitely, you know, family and, and, and wanting to start a, a legacy for my children. I have two beautiful young daughters. And um, one of the things about myself that I'm big on, like I said, is legacy. I want to be able to leave something for them and um, not, not only leave it for them, but allow them to where they get old enough to understand business, to understand, you know, they have something that they can call their own and use it to capitalize on um, whether or not they want to jump into the business or not, you know, it's, it's, it's theirs to decide, you know? Um, so that was big for me on um, wanting to start 
my own barbershop. Um, and obviously, you know, us just getting out of a pandemic, uh, that was that was big as well because you know we 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 got put into a space where we was this this field, our back was against the wall in a lot of ways, you know. So um just coming out of that, being a, what I like to call myself, I'm a hustler's hustler, you know, coming out of that it was, you know, we had to make a lot of decisions, a lot of tough decisions, a lot of hard decisions that, you know, would definitely affect the 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 present at the time. Um, you know, we was we was broke. <laughs> a lot of barbers went broke, you know. So, you know, we we had to we had to make some decisions and 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 I think one it's one of those aspects of where you're going to tell yourself you're going to get off your towel you're going to go get it or you're going to you know sit around and wait for something to fall your way I wanted to be someone that got off my towel and went to go get it that's what I did you know I'm, I'm, I'm blessed I'm humbled by uh every decision I made for myself for my family and and, and we've been open for a year now congratulations on that congratulations on that thank you thank Absolutely. you I appreciate Absolutely. it yes sir Absolutely. and talk to me too about those tough decisions though right because obviously everyone is going to see the grand opening Right. Everyone right. is always going to see what gets posted on social media and the success. Right, right. Of course. Right. But the, of course. But the background, the, the 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 grinding that that goes into it. So, what type yeah. of decisions do you feel like you had to make that weren't always easy? You know, one of the things I think um, it's funny. A lot of a lot of people always tell barbers, you know, put money away for a rainy day. And even when you do that, you don't expect the rainy day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, in a time where like when we was coming out of the pandemic, you know, we was, it was three months of what they told us we couldn't work, you know, and we not, if we, if we haven't been set up with the proper tools that were given to others, like, uh, you know, people was able to get loans and, and uh, the, uh, the unemployment checks and stuff like that. We wasn't getting none of that. You know what I'm saying? So we really had to fend for ourselves a lot of time. And, you know, we was, we, we, we had to, Hope we get a call that say, "Hey, bro, I, I, I need a cut. I got a hundred for you." Mm. You know, and 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 as, and as bad as that sound, um, even that alone, being having to put ourselves in positions that I might go out and do a haircut that might give me COVID and bring COVID back to my family. Mm. But now, you know, I got to make the decision. Where, damn, I, I I I may need a few dollars to put some groceries in a in the refrigerator, you know, I may need to get some gas to go for one, go get some groceries, you know. Um, so, you know, decisions like that also play in the fact that, you know, we, we didn't do too bad because we was able to, like I said, put away for the rainy day. But when that rainy day comes, when it rains, it pours, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of a lot of guys that was in this field would, would attest to that, man. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we don't, we don't want to hit rock bottom. Um, but, you know, just understanding what the climate of the world was during that time um, and then having to transition to being a business owner almost right away, you know what I'm saying, um, what, it, what, it, what, it, what the, the startup cost is. And, uh, you know, it, it takes a little away from this. It takes a little away from that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's those sacrifices, I think, when you know that you're someone that get up off your tail and go get it. You know what that sacrifice takes that, you know, that, that blood, sweat, and tears for real. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm sure you were cutting here before, or at least at least one time before you had your shop, right? So yes. what what was the transition like between pre-barbershop mm -hmm. and now having one? Like what was is, was there do you like, think there's been a difference in for you? Would you say like pre-barbershop being before I was working in barbershop settings or yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I've been I've been working in barbershop settings for about ten years now. So, I mean, I, I went right into, I pretty much went right into barbershop settings right after high school. Mm. Um, with all my friends is going to college and things like that. I'm I'm telling my guys, yeah, I'm going I'm going to work at a good looking barbershop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was that was my college. Um, so pre barbershop setting for me was cutting hair in the locker rooms in school and you know stuff like that um so yeah it definitely wasn't it it, it it definitely wasn't i wouldn't say profitable but my profit was learning my craft learning you know how to i guess you say get nice with the get nice with the clips mm -hmm. <laughs> you 
that's what that was like pre barbershop setting. And, and what what would you say that kind of means to you as well in the whole grand scheme of things? The idea of being willing to learn that early on, right? I think that sometimes is that's a a part of the process that a lot of people may skip, right? But what what does right. it mean to you? Because again, we talking about a cut, right? So it ain't like yeah, yeah. you know someone orders some food and it's like all right, it's bad, you know. Yeah, this, yeah. this is you know the most viable Listen. thing that a black man would probably yeah. spend money on. So like, what does that mean to you to know that? it was very, very important to learn the game as well. Let's not get it confused. I've, I've had my share of, of, of fucking a couple people up. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But to learn it early on, um, it allowed people to let me grow with them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I think that was very important. I think they saw me as, you know, that that young, ambitious kid. Um, and, 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 and that played in my favor. You know, I think a lot of OGs took a gravitation towards me of just saying like he was hungry at a year at an early age, you know, and um, it's just something that that stuck with me. So I think being so young, the, them guys allowed me to grow with them. Um, and 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 obviously, like I said, ten years later, um, I'm, I'm blessed to be have able to have been sustainable through those trial and errors. So yeah, so you you literally put the work into you know working at other shots before you know what i'm saying you, you you had your own right so what is yeah, it what, what, what would you say has been the difference between having your own and being other places um man simply like when i walk into the shop in the morning and that's my name mm. you know what i'm saying that's that's my barbershop is named after my daughters it's, um my barbershop is called outside barber club mm. my oldest daughter name is ella my youngest daughter name is Sayed. Mm. So, you know, when I walk in in the morning and I see that stamp, that that's, that's, that's our name, mm. that alone is the difference for me, you know, just knowing what I'm doing it for, mm. you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, 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 it's what I, what I, my drive, my, you know, my motivation for making sure that these, these clippers is working today. Um, it's, it's, it's as simple as that, bro. Mm. You know, I, I, it's the, the, the setting is the same for me. You know, I, 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 I come to work, I work hard, I, I interact with my folks. I, 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 some way, you know, I'm the same therapist for them as they are for me. But um, just simply just, you know, opening them doors and, and seeing that stamp of what we worked so hard for. And to know that this is going to be one day my little ladies. Mm. That's, 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 that's as simple as it gets for me. Yeah. And that. The world we always talk about is legacy. So that absolutely down that alley. Um, but absolutely, you mentioned, you mentioned hours, right? So talk. Mm -hmm. what, what are what are some hours that barbers or yourself may have to to deal with? What 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 are some? Um, yeah, because <laughs> look, you said. See, Listen, right, here, man. Let, let me let me let me say this first for you answer. You mentioned the idea of like you kind of yeah. knew early on that you didn't really want to go the nine to five route, which you know, from right. your life, everyone has different opinions, right? But I want to ask, you know. So I went the I, I went the I went the eight to ten o'clock at night route. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. I did that, and you know, them hours, man, they, they are super. It, it's it's literally a sacrifice. Yeah, you know, I have I've have sacrificed relationships, friendships. Um, you know, definitely early on that has. I had to go through to put me in a position where I was able to say, yo, I'm pretty good enough to, I feel comfortable to be able to stand on my own when I decide to open my own shop. Um, so yeah, definitely like them hours was, was definitely sacrificial, you know, literally from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Um, and, and, and some days you might not eat lunch, you know, cause it's, 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 it's 10 people waiting for you. You know I mean and, and and you just tell yourself, damn, I don't I don't want to be here all night, but you're here all night anyway, man. So definitely like it's it's definitely a sacrifice. Um, you know, a lot of the times when people are, you know, hanging out on, on weekends, you gotta you gotta get your grind on, man. So yeah, it was it's, it's if, if there's any word I can use that I would say defines ours, it's it's sacrifice. Mm. Mm. It's a lot of long hours, a lot of, a lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of long, long, long hours. But you know, for anybody that know what it takes to, 
to get something out the mud on what you want, you, you're going to put it in. You're going to put that work, work in. And so you, uh, you use a phrase that I think gets used pretty often is, is get it out the mud. Right, right. Some. Do you want your daughters to get out the mud? Do I want my daughters to get it out the mud? Um, no, of course not. You know what I'm saying? I do want to teach my daughters lessons on how to be hard workers. You know, um, I think at the end of the day, I, I, I want them, like I also said, you know, if they decide that they don't want to get into this business, I want them to understand what it is that they want and being able to use this as leverage, mm -hmm. you know, so definitely want them to take tricks and tools throughout their upbringing to say, hey, dad showed us how to go get it, you know, um, but understand that I am trying to set the uh, foundation for them. Right. And this is the foundation, you know, this is definitely the foundation. So, yeah, I'm going to put the work in so they don't have to work as hard, right. but understand that you don't get nowhere if you don't work hard, you know, so it's definitely the model that I'm trying to teach them. Right. And the blueprint is the, one of the most valuable things out there, right? Just the idea. Absolutely. Of, when people, especially your, you know, your family sees you working hard naturally. And they right, to, right, right. Take on. But but I, I just wanted to ask that. Obviously, there's no right or wrong answer, mm -hmm. uh, especially you as a parent. But I know naturally that, that conversation of should we spoil our children or allow them to get out the mud? But yeah. um, it's a little bit of this. It's a little bit of that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Definitely take from both angles. Of course, of course. And, 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 I, and I think, too, it's like, it's, I think age is also a factor, too. Right, right, right. Like, when your children become adults and they're, you know, like, older, all right, you know, they should know better by now. But I think when they're children, it's like, okay, we still have the responsibility, right, of, of teaching course. them the ways. Um, and I think your story is even more dope, too, after after naming, you know, the shop after them. So what do you, right, think, right. They'll, what do you think they'll say years from now when they watch this episode? Um... First thing first, I hope they say that the Mets got a World Series. This is dropping in, in uh in uh was it early September, of uh, September two thousand twenty two. So, uh, remember that, y'all. <laughs> so we 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 on a we we on a hot streak this year. So <laughs> let's, let, I hope they say that first and foremost. But um, you know, if they can look back ten years, um, after this video came comes out. What do I want them to, to get from this video? <sighs> it's a heavy question. I know the other ones were easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I have a I have a closing question that may bring you, um, you know, some 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 time to think about too. That usually gets people, um, right. thinking. But, um, but yeah, it's it just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, I think I'm gonna like, sleep on that though. I yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep on that. Because obviously, you know, we live in the moment sometimes, right? Which, you know, is not yeah. a bad thing. It's a, the thing is a great thing, you know, um, because tomorrow truly isn't promised. But at the same time, um, when we use, if we're going to use the word legacy, we also have to understand that it really is about the marathon, right? And so yeah. um, just wanted to kind of pick your brain about and, what you think there'll be 10 years now. Go ahead. And, and, and well, it's, it's great that you even mentioned that, you know, the marathon, because perfect. I, now I know the way to answer the question. Um, 10 years from now, I want them to take this word from it, growth. Today, I am, I have my, my barbershop is a one-man suite. 10 years from now, I want this to be, you know, I want it to be back into the community. Um, uh, definitely, I want to build the brand, more barbers. Um, and like I said, just Continue to be in the community, but constantly doing uh to doing the 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 the, the, the salvation work. So, I, I I want them to see growth. We are we just did our second uh, back to school drive. We're doing our second annual um uh, turkey bowl this 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 November as well. Again, I just want that to be consistent as well throughout the year. So that's 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 the word I think I want to run. For sure. And you mentioned it was, it was a school drive or, or toy drive that you, that you just had or, or hosted? What, this, what? Uh, school, a uh, back to school drive. We okay. just did a uh, back to school drive, uh, me and some uh, some partners. Um, shout out to my man, uh, Van Lauren, uh, I Am Life, uh, Prince Hami Set. 
Uh, we teamed up together this year. We, we gave out 100 book bags, had some bounce houses, some cotton candy, snow cone machines. Um, and we did it back in my old neighborhood. Um, so that was, you know, some things like that means the world to me, yeah. you know, so continue to stay in the community and things like that. And I don't ever want that to stop. I want it only to continue building, only to continue to get bigger um, and, and and just grow the brand, you know, and, 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 and not only for myself my family but for our community yeah yeah and the give back is just as important too especially when we when we mention like barbershops and being like literally i'm thinking of, I'm thinking of the movie <laughs> barbershop but like with right, right, right. literal barbershop it usually is a staple in a community yeah, you know what i'm saying like absolutely. It, it's something that people tend to gravitate toward and have to go to <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah um, but you mentioned too kind of being a, a one-man band not necessarily um for the for the back to school drive but it being mm -hmm. um just you so what type yeah, of um, what type of words of, of wisdom would you give to someone who's trying to open up a shop on their own and it's just them mm -hmm. and they don't have a, a huge team? I would say this. First and foremost, man, um, though I am a one, let me, let me correct that. I am a one man barbershop. Oh, but my apologies. My, no, 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 it's all good. I've definitely got to shout out my, my team, my support system, my clients. My friends, my family, you know, I definitely have a strong backing. And I would say that to anyone that is trying to start a business. Um, I had a friend of mine that, that that told me one time, you know, when you, um, what did he say? I always took this. When you're doing it on your own, you know what? Scratch that. I don't <laughs> Listen. So we're going to scratch that part because yeah, I'm going to I'm I'm mess up the quote. Uh, I'm going to mess up the quote. But I just say that to say, like I said, you know, my, my support system is is is, is amazing. I was standing. I, I believe I believe I have the best support system in the world. Mm. Uh, I, I would I will put my team up against anybody in this world. Mm. They 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 push me. They motivate me. You know, I come to them with ideas and. When they when I got a bad idea, they let me know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then when I when I feel like I have a great idea, they 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 definitely push me and drive me to like, yo, you know, get it done, bro, because we're going to support you. Mm. And um, like I said, that goes from my 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 family, my friend, my clients, my client. We just did a um, we just did a one year anniversary. We called it the Outside Mixer um back in June, and man, my 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 guys showed up. You know, and 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 my friends, my family showed up, and and and, and it was amazing, and just really showed the support that you know that this barbershop and this family has. I, that's one of the things that I've always said. Whenever someone says, you know, congratulate me, I always you know hit them with the reverse psychology, She's like no, congratulate us, bro. Yeah, we did it. You know, so that's that's definitely like I said. This this is what this is this is about. You know, that that legacy, that family, man. I I cannot stress that. More than enough. So yeah, I'm a I'm a one man barber, in the sense of the business runs on my own chair. If I don't keep the Clippers running, you know, it, it don't continue to grow. But um, no, I'm I'm not a I'm not a one man business. My 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 business comes from you know my family, my friends, my support, my clients. They 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 the fucking best. Yeah, yeah, and it's tough to reach the mountaintop by yourself. Absolutely. Right. Like, everyone wants to Absolutely. do things alone. But... And it's no fun. It's yeah. no fun, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I don't, I definitely don't want to share success with myself. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely when, when, when you can, like I said, when we had the mixer and, and we was able to celebrate, we celebrated amongst each other. You know, I was able to bring my friends and family that also have other businesses. That was one thing that I, I stressed about making sure everyone got their shit off. You know, I wanted I wanted one of my friends to talk about what they got going on. This is what LSI is about. You know, it's about all of us. So, yeah, yeah let's all share success, man. It's, it's yeah. definitely not on my own. So I had to, I, I had to correct myself on that. Got you, got you. And I mean, you're absolutely right. Like, we have to continue to support people that we know. Yeah. Right? Like we we support you know quote unquote celebrities that we will never ever meet, but we mm -hmm. have to you know support the people that we can FaceTime. Right. We right, have to support right, right. people we go to parties with. Right. Like those right, are right, people right. that like have known us for a long time. So we might as well, you know, support them. And um, 
there's plenty of ways to support your friends, right? Like sharing an Instagram post is support. simple as that. You know what I'm saying? It's simple as that. Referring someone's business is support. You know what I'm saying? If we do it for other people, at least we should be doing it with our friends or for like our friends. they say, like like they say, I feel like one of the best quotes that I that I hear, man. It don't cost no money to show love. Say that again. It say don't that again. Cost I want to get no money to show love. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah, and 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 that's true. Like, I mean, to me, I think so often. Of course, like as as a business person, money mm -hmm. drives a business, right? There's no way to kind of work around that. But at the right. same time, you can still, like like I said, help someone else out by it doesn't have to be a financial thing, right? So mm -hmm. passing Absolutely. um the word along, or like I said, sharing Instagram posts, all goes a things, long way. It does, and so to, for you, way. for your event, what does that kind of mean to you that? Um, you brought in not just people that you know, but other people that are doing amazing things in their respective businesses um, and industries. You said, what, is it, what did it mean to me? Yeah, to know that like, all right, you know, you reached a one year anniversary or you see the success right. of your brand in your business. But at the same time, like you mentioned, it's not just you, right? You can't right, get right. here by yourself. You don't get here without your clients and the support of your friends and your family. Right, right. Like um, I, I, what it meant to me, man, was just like I said, um, just simply, I just wanted to celebrate everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, I think us, hell, us as being young, beautiful, and black, man, you know, it, it, that's a that's a cause to celebrate alone. You know, so I definitely, mm -hmm. like I said, I just wanted to, I just want to bring my friends in and celebrate us all, um, because they, every one of them, have a, a part of why we're here today. You know, so you know, again, if I can't say thank you and it, it's just a at the least pass the word in a moment get on the microphone tell everybody what you do because this person may not know you across the room mm -hmm. but if i can just bridge that you know just simply by hey yo you know talk share some instagrams i have you know one of my close friends she did catering she catered the event um one of my clients was, I, I had him as one of our DJs, you know? So like, yeah, man, let's, let's network. This is what this is about. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing too. You keep it all kind of like in-house, right? If I'm yeah, throwing yeah, an event right, and right. I know a DJ, I call him. You know Why what I'm not? saying? If, if I'm throwing Why an event not? and I know someone that caters, I'm calling them. Like when you know people, you know, and also too, another good point you made, like saying thank you can take you a long way. Like that's having it. manners, being like somewhat nice, You'd be surprised at That's how many it. people will rock with you just by saying thank you or just by smiling. Like, right, like right, right. wants to be. Good morning. You know what I'm saying? You know? Good morning. Like, yeah, it goes stuff. a long way. That could change someone's day. Yeah, like that could change someone's day. Like, and it and it doesn't it doesn't um take much, but you know I think it's the little things that separate yeah. you know people into like I feel like a different I won't say category, but just you know looking at life a little bit different. Right, um, right, right. So even in, in the stages that you took, do you feel like the process was so um, strategic that like every single step that you took was important? Or was it just like, did you wake up one morning and say like, you know what? I feel like in my own shop, let's do it. Or was it something like, <laughs> <laughs> well, was it something No, you know what? I've been, I've actually been planning it for about six months prior to, okay. you know, we, we did it. So yeah. I already know I've ripped like, you know, we was going to, we going to celebrate everybody. I mean, I'm trying to celebrate everybody day by day anyway, you know, so I just wanted to put it on the stage. This is for us, you know, just I only like I was told everyone, I just wanted to use the outside mixer as a platform to get the message across for others. Like, you know, hey, we have an event. This is what it's going to be. But by all means, I want to celebrate you while we celebrate ourselves as well. So that's what it was about, and 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 hell, even down to the 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 location that we had it at was a friend of ours, mm. you know. So yeah, it's all in house, man. We all celebrate yeah. one another. Yeah, facts, facts. So let's take it from the top, right? Let's say someone wanted to yes. become a barber, right? They they hit you up and say, you know what? I think I want to get active. I want to become a barber, and then on top of that, I want to uh um have my own shop at some point, right? So walk me through the process right. let, let's let's say it's me right let's say i'm your student for the next 10 minutes mm -hmm. right what, what what would be the first thing you say to someone that looks to try and become a barber first obviously you can't have a barber shop um if you're not a barber or i mean you can but you get what i'm saying 
So what would be uh, the first <laughs> step um, to 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 uh, becoming one? Um, first step to becoming one. Well, first I want to ask you what you what are you willing to sacrifice? Like I said, you know, let's start that off to begin with because you're going to depending on, you know, I would say like with your lifestyle, um, your lifestyle may be ready to switch up if you're ready to commit to being the best barber you can be, you know, are you ready to sacrifice when all your friends is going out on Saturdays? Are you ready to put the work in? And it, 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 it's crazy to even make it sound like that, right? Like as if this shit is, you got to commit your life to it. Like that's all it is, but it's really like that. You know, it's really, really like that. Um, so, you know, like I said, the first thing I want to say is, what are you willing to sacrifice? If, if you're not willing to sacrifice your time, this ain't the business for you. You know, if you're not willing to sacrifice um, your, your 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 family, and I say that in the sense of, I, when I first started, I didn't have family of my own, of course. But I mean, you know, it's, it's certain things that you're just not going to be able to do that is going to require your attention to your practice. That's with anything, that's with any sport, any school drive that you may be willing to do, you know, college or whatever it is that you want to get out of your life that requires attention, hard work, dedication, it's going to require some type of sacrifice. So that's first and foremost, I would say, are you willing to sacrifice your time? If not, this is not the business for you. Then if you say, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I want to, something I want to do, I want to practice, I want to get my craft going, I want to study, I want to become, you know, great. I'm still working on that myself, you know, I'm still sacrificing the time myself. But then I would say, okay, well, um, I would see where you at, where you you may uh, need some pointers in or, you know, things like that. But then obviously, if someone wants to open up their shop, they're going to have uh, aspirations of, actually going legit. So you would have to find a school to enroll, uh, get your hours, get your practical, things like that, study book work, take the test. Once you get all those taken care of, then are you ready to hit the ground running? You know, that don't mean practice on one haircut and don't cut hair for the next five days. You know, I'm talking about you ready to practice this haircut, take criticism and get back to it on the next one. You know, I would say um, just all those intangibles, man, that just kind of go in a pot, sacrifice, dedication, hard work. As long as you got those intangibles, you'll be fine. Mm. You know, and then, then from there, it's just about what it is that you want. Every barber don't always want to have a barbershop of their own, but mm. that's OK. You know, that's that's OK. Um, some people want to be a barber where they are only just their barbers like myself and the barbers, you know, sweet. That's okay. There's different names for everything, you know. Some want to have a, a, a mega shop. Some want to have a barbershop in a school. It's all these different um, different things that can kind of go into what it is that, you know, just what's wish your passion, what's your dream, what you want out of it. So once you find that lane for yourself where you tell yourself, okay, this is what I want to do. Um, then we can also go from there. And I can say, okay, you need to talk. If I'm not the one to direct you in the direction that you want to go, my job is to then help you find who it is that you may need to talk to. But if it's me, this is my blueprint. This is how I did it. Um, you know, I would take you under the wing and say, oh, you know, get ready to work, get ready to, you know, sacrifice that time. That's as, as simple as that, man. Uh, I really don't know what else I've no, done in the last 10 years that didn't consist of my time. And I get I get killed every, literally every day for it. But just knowing, like I said, because I'm still learning myself and where I want to take my business and, and, and my brand and my legacy, it still requires a lot of work that I'm still getting to. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But I mean, to be honest, I feel like that it'll always be like that. 
You know what I'm saying? It'll always be. You know what I'm saying? Like, be. It, it, I feel like it's tough to really, I don't think people will ever really reach a point where it's like, right. Wow. You know, right, like, right, right, right. You know, like even even athletes, right? After you win a championship, mm-hmm. it's, it's cool. But the next day, the minute midnight comes around, all right, you got to turn back to grind. You know, yeah, yeah, back yeah. to grind. So that moment of celebration is usually shorter than people probably realize. Like the the journey, right? Is way yes, longer yes, yes. than the you know the day. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, damn, I just had a thought in my head. Oh, uh, my goal at this point in my life now is to work smarter, not harder, mm. you know? So my next step is expanding the barbershop, bring some other barbers in, mm. help me out. You know, um, I don't always want to have to be here to make sure that the business is running fluently, mm. you know, but I have to also find the people that entrust that will, you know, obviously one, see the same vision, uh, professionalism, um, dedication, you know, all those, like I said, once I find those cast out of, I feel like the, would be the team amongst the work, then my next step of working smarter, not harder, you know, will be that dream come true and, and, and we'll see the expansion process. So that's what I'm working on now. Yeah. And, and someone, um, someone on the show recently, Dave was like, um, you can only be where your feet are. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, obviously, at some point, everyone wants to scale and, and improve. But at the same time, so many people want to f- do everything. Right. As, as, as yeah. an entrepreneur, you might feel like, all right, I got to do this, 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 this. But you can only be. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I, I struggle with that myself. Yeah. I'll be honest. I, I, I definitely struggle with that myself. I, I'm someone that, man, I, I, I carry a lot of hats. You yeah. know, I have a lot on my plate. You know, but yeah. Again, you know, just knowing what I do it for, though, it, it, that's, that's what my drive is. So. I would like to work smarter and, you know, let, let some of them have to go. Let some of that food up right. and go a little bit, you know? Right. And it, and it's, and it's, I think it, it's tough to do that, right? When it's something that belongs to you, right? Yeah. Like it, it's a challenge sometimes to detach yourself from your own brand. I think so often people get emotionally yeah, yeah. attached to their brand, which Absolutely. You know, if, you, if you built it from the ground up, there's, there's not a bad thing to be so attached to it, but understand right. again, you can only go, where your feet are. Like everyone wants to wear so many different hats, but don't stress yourself out because you're trying to do any and everything because you're so in yeah. love and connected to your own brand. And that's yeah. something that a lot of people- That shit is about. hard, bro. Yeah. That, that shit is super hard, man. Like Tough. To, 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 you know, just tell yourself, man, you got to take a step back. Yeah. You know, cause but then you get that, I take a step back. I'm not progressing. Yeah. Sometimes that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like I said, I've always struggled with that because I've always someone that I want to run a mile a minute mm-hmm. with knowing what I want to go get. You know what I mean? But it took for me to, I'm going to say, like I said, I have a family of my own mm-hmm. to understand that this is, we, ain't, we, we can't do this, you know, this life thing twice. You know, and, and, and it's, it's moments that now in the part of my career that I'm not willing to sacrifice anymore, like watching my kids grow up, you know, doing certain things with them that means the world to me, but also having that building that that rapport with my clients throughout the years, we've become a family. So they understand me just as much as I understand them. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's a, that's another big component of this business is building reports. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I've done I've done a lot of sacrifices already. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, like rapport. When I think of rapport, I obviously think of retention, yes, yes. right? And the, the idea of like um, having um, customers or clients that come back, right? And fortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, you're in a space where loyalty is everything, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of people- I can like, get on a lot of my guys about that too. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, yeah. black men don't go to their barbers often and to the same <laughs> way. <time. laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's for damn Indeed. sure. But talk to me too about the possibility and sometimes and the potential of getting new clients, right? Whether it's through marketing, 
or possibly mm-hmm. referrals or just random walk-ins or, or whatever the case may be? Mm-hmm. Is that something that um, you've kind of tapped into um, more as of late? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I think with me moving location, moving myself from locations, like coming from Bridgeport to Shelton, I already knew that I was going to be in a space of where I may lose some just simply off of uh, transportation. Um, so I know that I had to even out the playing field in that regard, and I had to put myself out there and market myself again as now Vince Shanks of outside barbecue. I need to even the playing field with the potential new clients that's going to maintain a float for the sustain the sustainment of the business. Um, so, you know, we're, we're constantly trying to, I, I, I tell my, you know, my, my, my guys, I, I sometimes I struggle with the social media of today. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I don't get TikTok sometimes. I struggle yeah. with TikTok, yeah. but they're, they're like, yo, bro, you know, get on TikTok, do these reels. And it's funny because I did a reel today, actually, that I sent to one of my guys that does, like, YouTube. Um, and he was, you know, he was making me up, like, yo, bro, you did, you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because, like, I know I'm not that old. I'm still young, you know, but, like, the, the, the game changes every yeah. single minute. Yeah. Um, so you, you got to constantly be on top of the new trends and stuff like that. And, you know, technology changes yeah. every minute. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's definitely something that you that's important in, in this field. Because, um, you know, you got to ride the runs, I guess. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've, I've been fortunate enough to be able to maintain those, you know, those high moments. And, 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 and it's definitely come with its low moments as well. Yeah. But. You know, when you're able to say high moments is better than the low moments, I guess you're in the you in the, you in the green in that way. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, you got to be willing to adapt to these situations, yeah. right? It's like you 100%, the world 100%. is always evolving, right? The world is always changing. How the world was five years ago is not how it is today, and how the world not is at all. Today, it's, it's not the same now. three months ago. Yeah, as yeah. it is today. Yeah, you know, and you kind of have to like accept that. You know, like yeah. you can't really live. I mean, you can, but I mean, it's not really ideal to live in the past. It's one of those, right, right. you know, you either, look, it's either, you either adapt to the way the world is now or you get left behind. You get left behind. I, I, if you didn't say that, I was. <laughs> there's, 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 there's no really like in between. So I know sometimes people right, are right. kind of afraid to like want to try things that are new in the world where it's like, it's either you either try it or mm-hmm. you get left you get behind. Left behind. It really is that yeah. simple. Um. You indeed, don't really have a choice. Indeed. You know? indeed, that's a fact, bro. That's just the way the world is. Um, but I mean, you mentioned to kind of think about your overall story, right? Having, mm-hmm. um, you know, been in the game for over a decade, right? Having a shop that you named um, after your daughters, which I, which I think is inspiring in itself. Um, and now having, it. you know, the, the you're welcome. Having the, the shop now for over a year um, and, and, and you doing everything that you're doing for, for your community, right? And even with, um, the mix that you hosted, and even um, the back to school drive that you and your your friends um, have had recently. Um, I say all that, right? I mentioned all that because it leads me to the final question that I have for you. Mm-hmm. Um, and that final question is a question I ask everyone that's been on Define Your Legacy. That question is, how do you want to be remembered? How do I want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as someone, it's funny, man. <laughs> I say this all the time. When, when all things fell, what do you stand on? You know, um, I want to be remembered as someone that has tried his best for his family, for his community. And as long as I got that, my people will be... Let's scratch that. I'm about to get too deep. Yeah, okay. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is your... I'm about to get too deep. Get in your bag. I'm about to get too deep. But I always say this, though. I, I always say this, right? Because I do it for my children, I do it for my community. And if if all fell with me, I know that 
my community would take care of my family in some in some sort. Again, rapports, connections, you know, relationships. These are all the things that I feel is important to I don't want my I don't want my kids to have to say like, you know, they had to struggle because I ain't shit. You know, but I want them to be successful because I was able to provide them with opportunities. And if I can't physically or financially provide them with those opportunities myself, um, I, uh, I sound wrong, wrong on my screen, I'm sorry. Yeah. If I can't pre present them with them opportunities myself for whatever fucking odd reason that I am not trying to go in the direction of, my community was able to provide that for them. So, you know, I want to be remembered as someone that that has done the groundwork, has set the foundation, set the blueprint, for us all to be of some sort successful in whatever it means to you. Success don't always, you know, measure who has the most money. But I want to be rich in spirit. I want to be rich in my soul. I want to be you know, rich in my heart. Um, and, and, and and just, it, it gets no greater than that for me, man. Um, what you define success as, I want to be rich in. Yeah. And I want my kids to know that too. <laughs> like I said, they, they're going to watch this yeah, uh, man. You know, 10 years from now. That's the thing too about these recordings that, you know, the beauty of time and the way social media is, um, this is, this is going to age well. Right. I, I know yeah, that. Be, yeah. and, and I definitely obviously ask you about your daughters, but yourself as well. Right. Like when you watch this video mm -hmm. um, 10 years from now, you'll be able to say like, wow, look at where I was and look at everything mm -hmm. I've done now at, at this point. So um, I hope this I hope I hope I would say this in 10 years. I hope I say. I said some dumb shit. <laughs> Wait, go back, go back. Start that statement over because yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, oh, I see the same. I see the same. I see the same. You know what I'm saying? I see because. Your same. I see your same. In 10 years, I hope that my mind mm. has elevated in a way where, yeah, at mm. where I'm at today, it was it was it was it was smart, but hope to have grown from our conversation mm. today as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So not some dumb shit like bro, you shouldn't have said that, but now you see how you thought 10 years ago to how we're gonna look at the world today, you know. So Help technology may be different that hopefully we won't be left behind. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. look at I, yeah. it that way, you know? So like I hope I say some like, you know, along the lines of I like I like where you was going, but we're here now. Right, 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 right. So yeah, right. I hope, I hope my yeah. son say that in 10 years. Yeah, and the mind is a powerful tool, right? As we continue to get older and, and more wise, we tend to think differently. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I I I definitely hear you on that point. Um, but if you could, man, um just drop your social media, right? Like where yeah, absolutely, find you, man. Um drop the address of your shop if you like, um, and everything like that. Feel free to uh run wild with the promo and everything you got going on. Yeah, no doubt, man. Um, so again, man, my name is Vince Shanks, man. First of all, it's been a pleasure. I want to thank you for inviting me to your platform, first and foremost, man. I have fun. I was super excited. I couldn't wait to get our shit off and you know, just to sit here and talk and have this conversation with you, man. Um, so definitely, first and foremost, I appreciate the opportunity to come onto your platform and talk. Um, you know, again, the, the social media handles are Vince Shanks of Outside Barber Club. I know this shit is long, but I didn't want to, I was trying to keep up with the times and I didn't want to move my old gram to the new gram and all that good stuff. But Vince Shanks of Outside Barber Club, um, I'm located at the moment at uh, my salon suite of Shelton, 389 Bridgeport Avenue, um, suite 305. You guys, definitely, man, feel free to uh, book your appointments at www.lside.com. You can, um, you know, see all the handles on there as well. Uh, stay up to date with a lot of the media uh, handles with, with, with through the website. Um, we, we're opening a bar, Fourth Quarter Cafe in West Haven. 213 Sawmill Road. So, you know, when no, when that opens up, man, I hope to see everyone there as well. By the time this video uh, airs, it should be open. So I'll see all that fourth quarter cafe. It's going to be the, 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 the most flyest spot you want to be at. Um, 
you know, and, and, and shout out to uh, my community. You know, uh, I grew up on the south end of Bridgeport, Connecticut, man. Just these, 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 these streets definitely, when I say streets, I mean, you know, these walks of life, they definitely, my community helped me become who I am. My family, my dad, my sister, you know. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. I could go on and on. I, I could go <laughs> on and on, man. Well, I, I, I'll I tell you this, though. One, one good thing about your at name on Instagram is that you don't have to worry about anyone taking it. <laughs> I don't worry about anybody, you know what I'm saying? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise anyone to take it as long as that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying, someone stealing, because right. um, there's a lot of fake accounts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. I will say, um, on the Define Your Legacy front, y'all, make sure you subscribe to Theus Elijah on YouTube. All right, subscribe to Define Your Legacy yes, on sir. Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. Follow Define Your Legacy on Instagram as well as Facebook, DYL Podcast on Twitter. Um, Theus, and Theus, this is the most important one. Everyone loves this one. All right, but Theus Elijah on TikTok. All right, follow Theus Elijah. I struggle with TikTok, bro. I might not catch you on it. Hey, man. That, I, hey, but you know, I mean, we could talk offline about that one, but TikTok, it's a beast, man. I know. Beast, I know. Man. I see like, it. it. It's, I it's, see it. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going anywhere either, you know, and, yeah. and that's the... You know, but I mean, it's all about like what it is that that you're doing and which what, what right. type of audiences that you're right, trying to, right. to target, and everything like that. So, uh, but also too, y'all, um, all episodes of the Fine Legacy drop every Thursday at eight twenty four a.m. Eastern. All right, all episodes of the Fine Legacy drop every Thursday at eight twenty four a.m. Eastern. All right, and Vince, any one I, last? I, I seen, I seen too. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I seen uh, while you posted. At 824, man, I, I, I salute that, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I, I definitely appreciate it. That's uh, the one thing I kind of uh, hang my hat on. It's like, you know, Indeed. we definitely have different you know, types of episodes and, and, and guests on with doing different things in their, in their spaces. Um, It's not like, you know, this whole entire show is stuck to just it's, the stock market or just real estate, but. It's um, funny, today is date. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're recording on 824, so. Right on. Um, it's, it's all so yeah this is definitely a special unique episode yeah man. no doubt um but yeah if, if you could man um close us out right just leave us with some either words of wisdom or whatever it is that you want it could be about your business it could be about barbershop it could be about inspiration motivation whatever you want just uh close this episode out for us if you don't mind yo man in closing i would just love to tell anyone out there with a dream with a passion stick to it don't nothing come easy don't nothing come easy. But as long as, you know, you put that work in and effort goes a long way. And just being a good person comes back to you. You know, we make mistakes in the world. Um, that's just that's just us being humans. But when you have something that you know you can hold on to, that you know is yours, work hard for it and put the effort because that effort goes a long way. And, and the reward is super great. The reward is super great. But whatever it is that you want, I don't care. I know you, you probably heard, you know, if you want to be a, 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 a bum, be the best bum you can be. You want to, uh, whatever it is that you want to yeah. be, effort goes a long way, man. And just being a good being a good human and being good to people because that, that, that good karma does come back to you in ways that you can't imagine. You know, so... Yeah, I tip my head off to that, man. Thank you, bro. It's been a pleasure. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And just like that, y'all, all all right, another fire episode of Fine Legacy just wrapped up. Just like that, we gone. Peace.